how can you go about getting into this frame of mind that you referred to before going into an interview? I'm going to share with you one of my favorite TED Talks. I've got to meet Amy Cuddy one of these days because I'm always talking about her TED Talk. <laughs> it is one of my favorite and it's a 21 minute TED Talk that is completely worth your time. And it talks about body language and power positions. Now when we think about body language, there's a little bit of nuance in how somebody perceives you. Right now, I'm fine, I'm good, but I'm making myself a little bit small. And I may look a little less secure and I'm, I'm all here and my shoulders are rounded. When I'm projecting power position, I'm broadening across the chest, my shoulders are back, I'm elevated, my gestures are more broad and I'm taking up my space and I come off as more powerful and confident. Mm. And so these little nuances are some of the things that you will see and hear in her research. She talks about how if you get into the, the you know, football stance or, or the Oprah or the <laughs> marathon runner and these power positions that you know, expand our body and take up our space, the actual um, chemicals in the brain are released that increase your confidence. Wow. So your body actually affects the chemical balance in your brain so that you feel it and everybody else receives it too. Wow. I actually made my husband before <laughs> um, this last job of t about two years ago when he was going for the interview, going to the bathroom beforehand and go for two minutes to these power positions. Yeah. He got the job. Fantastic. Right? <laughs> the mind-body connection is just fascinating and how it can help you in your career. Uh, a, a personal brand, presence, all of that stuff is huge. If I got in front of an audience and I'm like, okay, we're gonna have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the phones would all come out, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 